So I have some new video to show you now from yesterday's strong thunderstorms. A lightning bolt came down in Hartville and was captured on a security camera. Watch closely. Yeah, right there at the end of the driveway. That was a little too close for comfort, certainly. WKYC viewer Brenda sent this to us from Santa Fe Trail in Hartville. Lightning hitting just before 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. And thanks again, Brenda, for sending that to us. Wow, that yeah. is pretty intense. We had a lot of lightning going on. Actually, uh, Pat, who's one of our editors here uh, at Channel 3, said he was out on his bike yeah. and he saw the dark clouds. He ended up getting soaked mm. uh, because they were some real gully washers that came through when that, uh, yeah. that line emerged. And this kind of came all of a sudden, it yeah. seemed like. It was nice for a bit and then there you go. It's actually very reminiscent of more summertime type uh, thunderstorms, right? You get a little like. heat and the atmosphere reacts mm -hmm. to that. Well, right now the atmosphere is gonna pump the brakes on summertime just a little bit uh, with some more rain that is coming our way. Uh, temperatures are going to start off tomorrow morning in the 30s, that'll be a little bit of a hit to you as you step out the door. It's still going to feel damp. I do not think we will have any icing issues. Clouds and sun expected for the afternoon as highs are expected to be in the 40s. Right now we're at 39 in Elyria. 38 is our cool spot in Mansfield. Elsewhere we have temperatures that are in the 40s. We are still dealing with that northeast wind, which is actually picking up a little bit. That's helping to mix things up and keep the fog at bay in many areas farther south. But closer to the lakeshore, we are just inundated with moisture that's coming in off of the lake. And you can kind of see how that northeast wind just draws that uh, lake moisture right down into Mansfield, Ashland, Worcester, even some parts of Mil Millersburg at this hour. So we are anticipating this light fog to stay with us for now, but overnight we will import some drier air and of course that wind will help to mix things up as mentioned and that helps that fog to break up and lift. We are not getting any rain at this point. That is certainly some good news. We've dried things off on the radar, but we have to keep an eye out to the west because our next storm system is quickly developing. Isn't it always the way it is? Uh, but we have a big push of Pacific air that's moving right now into the plain states, and that will become the genesis of a new storm system that will start to move our way. So as we kind of focus on the weekend here over the next couple of days, you can see where all that rain and the thundery activity gets going tomorrow afternoon, uh, generally still west of St. Louis. But in the 24 hour period that takes you into Friday at noon, you can see that rain starts to really make its way to us. So we are anticipating western and southwestern Ohio to have rain Friday morning. The rain will get here to greater Cleveland and points east, especially as of right now, Friday afternoon and into the evening. Meanwhile, thundery weather going on farther into the deep south. That's the best push of energy, so they have the chance to have the heaviest rain. Meanwhile, we will likely have periods of rain Friday evening, Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon until finally we start to clear things out a little bit. We got to flip the model into a different model because of the longer range forecast here for the weekend. But the other part to put on here is the cold air because once this rain moves out Saturday, it swings around some colder air that drops in and we end up getting some snow showers at as of now, we are not anticipating heavy snow, everybody. This is good news, but it does look like we will have to contend with some snow and there could be some minor accumulations. Ground is warm. We're going to have a lot of wet areas. Not really thinking it's going to be a big deal for us, but certainly something to watch. Areas of fog tonight breaking up. Temperatures in the 30s and in your National Design Mar on the hour forecast for tomorrow, we will be seeing some peaks of sun, which is certainly going to be welcome. Temperatures topping out in the upper 40s. Here is your Union Home Mortgage forecast. And as you can see, we'll be into the 60s on Friday as that rain moves in. And then the cooling effects of the rain will settle in for Saturday with basically a wash out setting up for us. Snow will be around on Sunday. At times it may be mixing uh, with some rain and a little slushy on the back side of the time change. And then next week, looking ahead, we do get some brighter skies in here. We try to warm things up a little bit, but all in all, no major cold plunges, no major warm pushes coming our way in the next 10 days. Russ? All right, Betsy, thanks.